Um, I think it's just best that we just dive straight into it for kids. Hundred percent. I don't want to delay any longer. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Welcome to a new week. I'm starting the weekly vlog on Wednesday because I've been doing the mother of all declutters the last couple of days. And obviously they're gonna be standalone videos and I didn't know how to film around doing the declutter, so I just didn't. I thought I'd just start today and we can have a fresh three, four day vlog because why not? So today has been very much a sit on the laptop and have meetings day. I've had a couple of very exciting meetings this morning. One was about three hours long because it's something very exciting that's coming soon. And the other one was just a really exciting work call that was just for something else. But it's half one and I'm starving so I need to make myself some lunch and I think I'm just going to chuck on Ginny and Georgia because I'm on the last episode and I really want to make sure that I get that watched while I've got five minutes um, and then I can crack on with like other bits and pieces that need doing today. The declutter is taking way longer than I thought it would, mainly because I thought I could get it done across one whole week and that's just not the case. It hasn't worked like that. So I'm kind of doing it over when I can instead. So I was gonna get the bedroom done today, but I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna do that, I think next week. Um, and I still need to do my bathrooms, which I think is gonna be tomorrow afternoon. Cause looking at my calendar, tomorrow afternoon is free. But I don't feel like doing it this afternoon, so we'll see. But basically next week I've only got two days that I can do work. So it's not looking like a declutter week. It's looking like a filming and editing week <laughs> alongside all the fun stuff. But fun thing that's happening this week, I am going to see the 1975 on Friday with my friend Amelia, which is so exciting. I booked the tickets for her 30th quite a while ago now and it's gonna be the most fun thing ever. We always end up seeing the 1975 together at festivals and stuff, so it just made sense to me to buy her tickets for this for her birthday. So we're going to the O2 on Friday. I am so excited. Um, she's excited as well and obviously it's kind of like a bit of a surprise for her too, which is really nice. So she didn't actually know that oh, that was what I was booking, but nice little surprise. Um, oh God, where's all the stuff I need? Don't you love when you order something and the supermarket sends you completely different? I needed Cabello Nero and they sent me spinach, which isn't quite the same thing. So we're gonna have to improvise. It's not technically part of my meal, but I have some courgette that I need to use up. So I'm just gonna chuck that in as well. But basically making some spicy noodles for my lunch today. And I'm hoping they're gonna be delish. I'm sure they will be. Georgia always makes my food so nice. And I'll leave her link down below actually, if you're interested, because a few of you have already signed up with her, which is really exciting. Um, I think she said she's already had like five people come over. I can't remember exactly how many of you she said have signed up, but either way, it's super exciting. Um, and I can't wait to hear all about it, to be honest. Okie dokie. Let's get cooking. I'm gonna put on Ginny and Georgia. Here's time lapse. over to watch the hills and just chat because why not so we're just having a little girls night watching the hills eating biscoff but we're just having a nice chill old time don't really have much more to say other than we're watching the hills it's very weird watching it now though because they're so like the outfits are so bad yeah i feel like we've been like roasting like every outfit and they are bad it's just it's like the time of the low-rise jean and big chunky belt and like i'm like the uggs think what it'd been like when we first watched it be like oh my gosh and now it's like <laughs> <laughs> but when we first watched it that was what we wore yeah like we probably dressed like i remember my first ever youtube video was a lauren conrad braid from the hills oh yeah the side one yeah. that was my first ever video because lauren conrad had the hair that everyone wanted didn't she yeah. mad no. the eyebrows were also questionable small <laughs> Anyway, back to the hills. It's on Netflix if you want to watch it. Oh, I'm definitely not doing mushrooms now. That's for sure. I don't think you understand just how terrified I actually am of spiders. I'm traumatised. Oh, 
If you haven't got a t-shirt hair wrap, I highly recommend. They are so much less damaging for your hair. I got this one in Primark maybe two months ago for about three pounds and it's game changing. It's basically like a towel, but made of t-shirt fabric and it's so much better for your hair than using a regular towel. And it's also really light, so it doesn't weigh anything either. Um, but I actually prefer this to my microfiber ones. So I highly recommend if you need a new hair towel, but I'm gonna go make some breakfast. I need to tell you what happened last night. I filmed the ending of it and it was traumatic to say the least. So I'm just, you know, cooking away on FaceTime to James, like having a jolly old time, making my chicken ramen. I was really excited for it. And I'm cutting up mushrooms, right? Important fact. And I went to like tip the chopping board to like put the mushrooms in the pan. And somewhere along that line, a spider had got onto my arm, right? I have conkers in every single corner of this room and they do work. I have not had a single spider in my flat, touch wood, since I put the conkers in every corner. So I do recommend doing that. And basically this spider was on my sleeve and I went like that because I thought it was a piece of mushroom because it's black. And all of a sudden there was this massive spider that was probably about like this big, just like flailing around in the pan. I screamed and went flying backwards. James is on FaceTime like, what the hell is going on? And this massive spider is in my pan. I'm screaming because I am terrified of spiders. Like not just scared of, like if one is in my house, I will not go in that room for a few hours because I'm so terrified that it's gonna come back. Like I can't even suck them up in the hoover or anything. Like I have to physically get someone to take them outside and I have to see them being put outside. It's bad, but um, this spider was like flailing around. I'm at home on my own because the boy is at work and I was genuinely terrified. I was texting my friends like, can anyone come over? Tash had just left and I was freaking out. So I basically turned off the heat. The pot was boiling hot anyway because it had been on for quite a while, it was like sizzling away. So James was like, right, leave the pot, step away, let it just die, which it's never severely going to do, which I feel kind of mean for doing, but I physically could not have put it outside. I don't know what I'd have done. I probably would have left the living room, locked the door, shut the door and not come back in for like three days. But um, it basically just died really quickly, poor thing. And it just, it was there. So I couldn't eat the dinner. He was telling me to pick it out and eat it anyway, but absolutely not. So I got the bin bag out of the bin, stood it on the floor open, and then I just tipped it in, quickly tied it up and threw it onto the balcony. I am, um, I was terrified. And it obviously came in the mushrooms because there's nowhere else it could have come from. Like I'd have seen if it was on the ceiling or something, but it was here and it was scary and I didn't know what to do. And I basically just panicked and yeah, it was an experience. So I ended up making like a different type of ramen. So instead of mushrooms and chicken, because I'd used up my chicken, I had tofu and broccoli, which was fine. Um, and that's what you saw me cooking in the end, but it was very traumatic. And I put it on my Instagram stories. And this morning I had people like, hello, we need an update on the spider. Like, did you bin the pan? What did you do? Like, how did it go? So apparently you're all quite invested, but if you like random stories like that, I highly suggest going to my Instagram because I feel like my Instagram stories are sometimes way more eventful than my vlog because they're more like in the moment snappy. Whereas my vlogs are a little bit harder to kind of remember to film those little moments because like my phone's in my hand so I can be like oh my god this just happened like, so it was it was an experience but I won't put the picture of the spider on the screen because I deleted it I can't even look at it um but yeah it was terrifying so I was slightly put off cooking but <sighs> it's a new day and I'm over it and I think it's gonna be fine so <sighs> pray for me I feel like that was just an experience but I need to make some breakfast and it is 10 o'clock it's a little bit late for breakfast but I had a really productive morning so I woke up at six went to the gym for half six then I managed to get petrol on the way home have a hair wash shower and like shave my legs and stuff and it's only 10 o'clock and I've also stood on my phone faffing for a little bit as well so I'm feeling very productive but today is going to be a day of editing and trying to work on a couple of secret projects. So I worked a little bit on a secret project yesterday morning, had a couple of Zoom calls, 
Um, I think I already mentioned that. And I need to do a little bit more today. So I'm going to be like playing around with certain things and just seeing what I can do for that because there's there's two projects coming soon. I don't want to talk about them too much until I know days when they're going to be like actually happening because I hate being that person but I don't want to say oh this is coming soon and then it doesn't happen for ages or whatever. So there is two exciting things and you are going to love them. If you are someone who watches these vlogs I know for a fact that you are going to absolutely love one of these things and the other thing I think you're also really going to love the other thing. Um, but I'm so, I'm just so excited. Like these are two things that I've wanted for so long and I've dreamed about and I've manifested and they're on my vision board and it's just mental that they're already happening. Like on my vision board already, I've got, okay, so I mean, my vision board is a lot of like fitnessy things. So I've got like um, learning how to run again. I've got yoga on there cause I wanna get back into yoga. I've got learning about like crystals and like that kind of thing a bit more. Um, that kind of stuff um but some of that is already being ticked off and i'm so excited and these other two things are on there and they're being ticked off and i've also ticked off another two things which is super exciting and i feel like 2023 is just the year of like super manifesting like everything is just falling into place and i'm baffled to say the least because i did not realize how quickly things like manifest and how they happen when you least expect it so it's really warm in here. I haven't even got the heating on, but everyone underneath me must have the heating on. It's perk of being in a flat, actually. Per perk of being in a newer flat. So my flat is really well insulated, minus the fact I'm like a greenhouse with all these windows. Um, but it, because everyone below has got the heating on, it makes my flat toasty, so. Let's do this. Let's make some breakfast and get on with our day. Every white wash is literally just socks. I've just got a parcel in the post from a brand called Bound Apparel, and it's basically like an active wear kind of. I would say very like Adenola vibes, but they kindly gave me a voucher to spend on their website, and I thought I would show you what I picked because. I think the stuff looks really nice and I'm excited to see what it's like in the gym but also just kind of out and about because I'm not sure whether they're gonna be like gym appropriate or whether it's like gym stuff that you wear not to the gym you know so this is what I got so first up we've got some leggings I'll leave all of this linked um, and I'll let you know the quality because I'm gonna try wearing them to the gym and see what I think but this is what the leggings look like so just plain black with bound on the back and these feel really really buttery soft like they feel really really nice quality and they seem quite thick like you know if you do the knuckle test where you can see if you can see your nails through it like they seem like they're going to be kind of thick i don't know if they're necessarily going to be squat proof but what i'll do is i'll do a try on tomorrow morning when the lighting's a bit better because i think if i try it all on now you're not really going to see so we'll try it on in the morning and i'll test whether it's squat proof or not for you then um then i got this which is i believe a little t-shirt yeah the black boundless t-shirt so this goes with the leggings i just showed you and it's just a little gym t-shirt and annoyingly i just bought a h&m black t-shirt that's really similar to this because i wanted something like this and i couldn't find one anywhere um especially not in stock they're always sold out so i'm really glad i've got it but i do also now have two which is i mean definitely not an issue i wear them every single day and i have to wash gym stuff so much because i'm always there and i'm always sweaty like honestly the amount of washing my washing has doubled since going to the gym then i got this which i thought would be quite cute for my trip to dubai which is in like I think about six weeks time maybe but it's not gonna be your typical trip to Dubai um it's gonna be more of like an adventure ish trip so I thought I would get things that are easy to wear that are gonna make me feel comfortable so active wear like denim shorts vest kind of vibes um and also I don't want to be wearing like full-blown summer when I'm still kind of in the spring mood so I'm gonna go very like spring transitional vibe so that when you're back here and watching the videos and stuff you can still kind of get a gist and get outfit inspiration but i got this which is like a little bodysuit unitard and the back is like i don't know if you can see it properly but it's like open so it's got a crossover and then a strap across the back and it looks really comfy and then it's got um padding in the top bit which i mean you already know i take it all out and i quite like as well that it's got a seam 
over where your bum goes so it should be quite flattering as well but that i think is like the same collection as the other bits so beautiful and then i've got three more bits so these are actually colorful which is different for me i've got this cropped t-shirt which is like a little mini t-shirt crop just under the boobs and this one's actually got pads in it which makes me think that it's more of like a gym crop rather than a t-shirt so i'll give that a go in the gym and i'll let you know what i think i do think i'll probably wear this more as a t-shirt and still put a sports bra underneath but really cute color and i thought it went really well with the black and i do have some gray bits as well um then i got these which are a lot brighter than i thought they would be actually these are the same leggings again but in like a burgundy color I just thought they were quite nice they look a bit brown on the camera but they're really burgundy in person but they're like a nice like plum color and i thought these would be nice to mix and match with like the gray or this sports bra that i picked up because i thought i'd try a sports bra you know you can't try somewhere and not try their sports bras so i just got the camel color sports bra which is like strappy backed because i thought that as a set would look really cute in the gym i'm trying to start like mixing and matching you know like colorful bits but together so i don't know if i vlogged it the other day i don't think i did but i i put it on my tiktok which is the same username as on here if you want to check it out but i wore a green sports bra with like these green mull leggings and i really liked it but i'm definitely trying to mix up my gym wardrobe a bit because i do just wear black all the time to the gym so i'm adding in like those little neutral earthy tones so the greens the burgundies like the greys and stuff and we'll see but this is all super 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 soft and i'm really hoping it's not see-through i don't think it will be but i will let you know when i try it i might wear the black set to the gym tomorrow and then i can tell you what i think but tomorrow i think i've got full body i think because i did legs today yeah i've got full body so yeah i'm gonna put this all away someone is facetiming me or calling me it's james right <laughs> i need to answer that good morning gang from friday the 13th the day i'm going to see the 1975 and i'm so excited i don't even know what the time is but i've been to the gym i've had breakfast i've put all the outfits that i think i might want to wear together so i can show you in a minute and we can just kind of go through what i'm thinking of and i can show you some rough ideas of what i would wear to a gig obviously including what i end up wearing but i have no idea what to wear i've i, ha I thought i knew and then i tried them on and then i decided on something else and now i just really don't know so basically i'm just gonna wing it at the last minute and i've also put it as a poll on instagram so that i can see what you guys think as well because sometimes i think other opinions you're like oh yeah actually that makes sense that's a nicer outfit or like you know when you're just really indecisive it helps to have someone else make the decision for you but anyway i'll do that in a minute first up i just wanted to try on these pieces from bound that i showed you yesterday so i'm gonna quickly try those on um, I forgot to wear them to the gym this morning. I got up at like half five, put on the first thing I saw and it was only when I was on the way home that I realised I was supposed to wear some, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna give you a haul and then, yeah. So here's the pieces from Bound. Okay, I'm starting with the bodysuit because it was the top of the pile. I'll be honest, I don't know if you can see this, but it's really gapy here. So it's like quite big around the boobs. It was more obvious when I had the padding in, so I've took the padding out, but it's just, it's a bit big. I I don't know how to best fix it either because it's like where the seams here it almost needs like a bit pulling it back but it looks cute otherwise so I think if I added maybe another strap onto the back or something then I could make it work I think it just almost needs a strap to go like here but really cute other than that like the back is adorable I think I'd maybe just need to get an extra small rather than a small and then it might fit a little bit better so potentially I might send it back and swap it and just see if the extra small is better because I feel like it can potentially get a little bit tighter around everywhere else if it means that this isn't like gapy if you know what I mean okay this is the black set so the top is super comfortable really stretchy like I don't know if you can see but that is so stretchy and that's great because it fits really tight so it's like really figure hugging and beautiful but you've also got the stretch so it doesn't feel too restrictive leggings are really really comfortable I love these these will be great for days when you want to just wear something that's like active wear but for every day and also for the gym because they are squat proof i've just tested and they're completely squat proof but they're also just really cute um you've also got the branding on the back but i really like these they're very similar to the adenola and another version ones but they're actually a lot softer i think like they feel really really nice then we've got this t-shirt which did have padding in but i took it out because i'm just not i'm not a padding in a top kind of girl like i just prefer having sports bras and stuff when they haven't got like the awkward little cups but this one's really nice and soft again i like that you've got the thick waistband bit here 
and it just fits really nicely, really comfortable and it goes really nicely with the black but I also think it would go with the burgundy too and it matches a lot of my other gym stuff. So yeah, really like this one and I think it's definitely something I could wear like every day as well, you know, like just with jeans or something and it's really cute. So really like this. I love the colour, it's like a bluey grey, it's really beautiful. And then lastly we have this set. So this is a nude bra that is really cute. I did leave the padding in for this one just to show you but it's got the nice thick waistband again which I love. The back of this one, I don't know if you can actually see, but it's like a crossover back that's really cute. And then the leggings are the same again but in a burgundy so they're quite a nice like plum purpley burgundy which I like. So these would be great for just matching with pretty much everything. I like that these will go with my neutrals, my blacks, my greys etc. So yeah really happy with them and I think these are going to add really nicely into my active wear and my gym wardrobe. So yeah cute. I also need to tan. I realise I'm very 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 pale right now and I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, you ready? These are the options. So this is option number one, which is the one that I initially thought of going with, but I'm in two minds about whether I go for this one or one of the other ones. I've got four options that I'm thinking, but I'm just gonna try them all and see how I feel. Ignore the tripod. I'm currently making this into an Instagram <laughs> reel at the same time, but this is the option. So I've just got my like side slit leggings on because I thought they were a bit of a vibe. A little cropped vest because it does get really hot. And then I figured I'm going to buy a band tee. So if I get cold, I could put that on. Um, leather jacket and then my docks because realistically we're sat down. We're not in the pits. So I feel like we're going to be like dancing kind of like this rather than like fully going for it. So this kind of makes a bit of sense, but I also really like it because it's just comfy. It's all black. And like, I'm literally wearing leggings, so this could be it. Okay, option two, same, same, but different. So different leather jacket. This is my bomber one from H&M that I love. And then I've got a white short sleeve tee. These row jeans, which are from weekday. And I love these. The only thing is they're quite high waisted and they're a little bit tight. So they're not like forgiving or anything. And because they're ultra high, when I sit down, they're kind of like in my ribs, which is a bit painful and uncomfortable. Um, and then I've just got my vans on my feet. So I do really like this one but I don't know because of the whole like jean situation. Although I am thinking I could potentially do it with crop jeans and docks because of the fact that I love these jeans, but I feel like the vans look a bit weird if they're with like cropped leg. So I'm undecided, but I do like it. It's just the jean situation that I'm not sure. Okay, another option wearing these cargo trousers, which I love so much and they're so nice and loose and comfy. And I've just got, oh, I'm losing the jacket, but I've just got this bodysuit on from um, Abercrombie underneath. And these are like kind of, I can wear them low or I can pull them a bit higher and just like have them. They are quite, quite big, but um, they look like a vibe either way. And I just put them with Converse because I thought it was nice and comfy. Although I do think if I wore this, I would go for my docks, but the long sleeve bodysuit is really nice and comfy. It's really nice and thick and soft. So. This is a potential, but I think this is my least favourite so far. Okay, and last but not least, we have this option, which I didn't think would be my favourite, but I really do like it. So I've just got Converse on my feet, leather trousers, which are actually really comfy. These are from River Island last year, and these are super, super soft, like faux leather. Um, long sleeve bodysuit again, and then this coat. And I actually kind of like this. I think this is a bit of a vibe. Obviously, the coat wouldn't stay on because I'm going to be inside, so it doesn't need to. But the rest of the outfit, like if I take the coat off, hold on. If I take the coat off, I'm still quite like comfy and it still looks cool. What do we think? I kind of, I don't know why I'm turning around. The back makes no difference, but I just quite like it. I also quite like the neckline of this. It's like a weird, like it's like square, but then it goes like round your neck, like a halter neck. But what do we think? This is now taking front place, I think. We'll see. We'll see what Instagram says and we'll see how I feel in a bit. <laughs> I look like such a passenger princess recently because I'm just always in the passenger seat. <laughs> but um, we are nearly here. Here is Ikea. Here is, can you even see it? It's over there. Um, I nearly called it the Millennium Dome then. Wow, that's showing my age. But um, <laughs> do you not still sometimes call it the Millennium Dome? Um, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, me and Amelia are nearly at the O2. It took us about an hour and a half to get here with traffic, but yeah. there was supposed to be really bad roadworks so and we've not come across any, so hopefully it's fine. Yeah. Um, we stopped off for a coffee to give us some energy. You had Diet Coke. Amelia doesn't drink really coffee. Um, oh, 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 oh. This is, honestly, this part of London is chaos to drive around. It's There's just so many, like, routes. 
but we're nearly oh, oh god i think this is going to be just yeah <laughs> but we're nearly there and we're very excited so i think when we get there we're going to grab something to eat um grab a glass of wine and just have a chat good old chin wag before we go in but we have heard rumors that apparently harry styles is there tonight so taylor swift was there last night which was i honestly i think i'd have cried i would have been deceased <laughs> if i was in the crowd of taylor swift like would you not because she's yeah, the last person i would have expected I would never have expected her. No. But apparently the set list for last night had Harry Styles songs on it, which means that Harry is probably tonight because apparently they swapped, but we don't know that for a fact. So we're hoping it's Harry, but it could be someone else. And I'm not getting my hopes up <coughs> because I don't know who it's going to be. So yeah, I'm going to turn I'm that down sure. so I don't get copyrighted. But um, I don't know. If it's Harry, it'll be amazing. But also Florence Welsh has been apparently there. So that could be someone that comes out. That there was someone really else cool. as well, but I can't think who it was. Someone told me there was someone else that was backstage. I've only seen those two as They've got a lot of celeb friends. That's very true. I think if you brought Denise out, everyone would lose their mind. Oh, that'd be great. Denise and Tim would be like, everyone would oh, just lose it. Love it. I saw a TikTok that was like, um, I don't like Denise Walsh, but I like Matty's mum. <laughs> And I was like, fair. <laughs> it made me laugh. Oh but yeah, we're nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> we were just laughing as well because um, I said to Amelia, half the songs I don't actually know the words to because they're so slurry. <laughs> and she said the same. So there's some songs and we were like, <laughs> we were like, if I knew. And we'd like sing half the words. I can't even think what song it was. And we both went, <laughs> I can't remember. I was like five songs ago as well. <laughs> to be fair, I think there's I don't think there's one song that I know every single word to. No. Like I think half of it, but we were saying half the ones uh, that we think no. we know the words to, the words make no sense They're that we're singing, yeah. so we don't really know what we're singing. There's maybe like maybe one or two. It's so funny. But it's great. It's great. It's a good time. But um, um I need to we're nearly there. I really need to just just do it, just go, just go. Ah. You're in London now, you've just gotta Got to confidence, it. fake it till you make it, just go. Oh as long Lord. as you move with confidence, you're fine. This is all new round here as well, so it's all really confusing roads. But um, for saying they said there'd be loads of roadworks and we wouldn't be able to get in the car park. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm still not seeing any, unless it's literally right on where the car park this is. This is where the car park is though. Look, it's only there. There's nothing here then. Um, I want to say... Unsure. I was going to say that's by the car park, but it's not. So we're... Oh, look, we're there's the, here, yeah. yeah, there's the hoo-ha, the... What's yeah. it called? Yeah. <laughs> Cable cars things. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go. But we're nearly here. We could go in there. Um we actually could, you know it's on the um it's on Oyster. Should just it's only like one pound fifty. It? It's no, quite I fun, I've done it once. I've not done it's really it fun. Well I say it's really fun, it's just really random, but it's quite cool. A nice view. Yeah, it's quite cool. I've you go there. over and then you come back straight away if you want because it's just constant rolling. Yeah, let's do it. We've got time to go. We're gonna do that first, I think. We might as well do actually no, I need a wee. Okay. If wee. I can wee first and then Yeah, to be fair, I can do it the way. Fun fact about me is, I need a wee every five minutes. I was gonna say this old age ain't no joke. <laughs> Amelia's <laughs> birthday card to me was, youth is a club that you are no longer part of. <laughs> and then what did I put in no, yours no, back? No, I was like, join the club, no, bitch. It's from which you are excluded. <laughs> that was it. And I was like, you're in the club now too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we really are in like the closest like, car park. Yeah, car park. Oh, I love this. How do I get in? That's it was, only, exit. It was only 30 pounds and we're in the closest car park possible. I need to go because I need help her. <laughs>